In this problem, we have to graph g of x equals 4 to the negative x. So we'll start by thinking about what the graph of 4 to the x looks like. So we'll draw the y-axis and the x-axis, so x and y. And 4 to the x always has a horizontal asymptote at 0. And it's always one higher, and it looks like this. This is the general shape. So this is the graph of 4 to the x. So now in this problem, we have a negative in front of the x. So that means we're going to reflect across the y-axis. Whenever you have a negative in front of the x, you reflect across the other variable, so the other axis, so the y-axis. So there's the y-axis, there's the x-axis, y x, and our horizontal asymptote does not change, so it's still y equals 0. And then we're just taking this graph here and we're reflecting it across the x-axis. So it's going to look like this. And this point here is still 1. So that's the graph. Now we just have to type all that in into MATLAB. So I'm going to come over here and click where it says click to enlarge graph. So I'll left click. And um, I'll go ahead and do the line first. So for the horizontal asymptote, you have to click a dotted line. And then we have to click the line tool. And it's y equals 0, so I'm just going to click here. And then make sure it's horizontal, so I'll click here. All right, that's the horizontal asymptote. Now we have to do the graph. So we have to go back to the solid line. And we have to click the exponential tool. And for some reason, when I clicked it, I feel like it went back to the dotted. So I'm going to go back to solid. There we go. So now everything is clicked. Solid, solid, exponential. Good. I think we can click anywhere. Let's try it. Yep. And then we have to decide what's, what's happening. So the base here is 4, so that looks good. And we reflect it over the y-axis. So you have to click here. So I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to click this little x here. See what happens. Yep, it did it OK. Um, I think my uh, solid line is now, my dotted line is now solid, so I'm going to click on the line, and I'm going to click this there, and I made it dotted. So that's pretty cool. So for example, say you wanted to make your exponential function dotted, which you wouldn't want to do, but if you did, you could click on it, whoops, close this, and then click dotted, and it would make it dotted, I think. Let's see. Did it work? Yeah, I made it dotted. But we want it solid, so you click on it. Let me try it again. There we go. Now it's solid. Okay. So it's a little bit clunky. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice. Just make sure uh, it's what you want before you hit save. <laughs> okay. Um, so we have a solid exponential and a dotted line. Good stuff. Save. Check answer. Okay. Good. What equation represents the asymptote? Okay. That's going to be y equals 0. So y equals 0. That's always y equals when it's horizontal. Okay, what is the domain? Well, you can plug in anything up here. There's no fractions, there's no uh, square roots, so all real numbers. So I'm going to click this and do negative infinity to infinity. So negative infinity to infinity, and then check answer. What is the range? Well, for the range, you go from the bottom up. So that should be 0 to infinity, and it's always a parentheses here because you don't include the 0, because there's, there's an asymptote there. So 0 to infinity. Check answer. Yep, and that's it. So just be careful when you're using the graphing tool. Make sure that um, your exponential function is solid, and make sure your dotted line, uh, your line is dotted. So just be, be careful with that. Uh, hope that helped.